I started drinking soda on a regular basis. And the first step. If you're drinking soda, you've got a problem. Have you ever had a sugar rush? But this video is all about soda and uh, and the amount of sugar that each soda contains. So, but if we know how much sugar we're dealing with with each soda, then maybe we can make better decisions about how often we're going to drink it or how much of it we're going to drink when we do. If you're just like blissfully ignorant and just drinking some soda, yeah, who knows? Who knows how much sugar you took in? Who knows? I can't tell, right? It just tasted delicious. But um, I am... By education, a nurse. I went to nursing school at the University of Arizona. I graduated in 2012. And um, since I graduated, I've been focusing most of my attention at, at my gym. And I have really seen my role as a person who is helping people to change their habits their, so that their long-term health turns out to be better than maybe it would have been otherwise. Uh, and, and here and there, we all, we all have slip ups, we all fall backwards, and then we have to move forward. So let me tell you a little bit about myself and how I fell backwards recently. Um, in March, I burned myself. And I haven't done a total video about it yet, but I'll show you a picture uh, side by side with me right now. In this picture, you can see that I really messed myself up. And the healing process, took quite a long time. It took a couple of months until I was feeling starting to feel better. And during the couple of months of convalescence, I, you know, I started to feel like I just really need to have some ice cream. I've been suffering. I'm in a lot of pain. I got I hadn't I wasn't able to exercise for two months, so I had no endorphins going on. It was a really miserable time. So I got into some seriously bad habits in the sugar department. I started drinking soda on a regular basis and I still find that I am uh, drinking soda a little bit more often than I ever had in my adult life. And if you want to um, live a long time without disease, it's a great idea to not drink a hell of a lot of soda. If you have one soda every, oh my gosh, I heard of someone that said that they had one soda every six months. That's fine. If you have one soda every one month, it's probably fine compared to what some people do, which is they have more than one soda a day. Soda doesn't have any nutritional value at all, right? That's the thing about it. I know that there are some sodas that have juice in them, but truly it's not doing you any favors. So that's one soda. first thing. And another thing is that it dehydrates your body in most cases. Some cases it's, it's also got caffeine in it, which, which double dehydrates you, but just a large amount of sugar uh, that's in soda um, is dehydrating. Right. And to not being super good for your teeth, when I say you're expecting your body to assimilate a certain amount of sugar. Equilibrium. When we drink a total large amount of sugar, one of the organs that really needs to jump into action is our pancreas. Our pancreas, is, a, uh, is it, it helps with regular food digestion, but it also has another job, which is it helps to keep your blood sugar on a nice, even level. Nobody wants their blood sugar to be too, super high. And when you get into the habit of drinking more than one soda a day, or even just one soda a day, what you have then is you have a sugar addiction. And it's something that you need to recognize when you're quitting. You can't just easily quit. You're going to have serious withdrawal symptoms like headaches, um, everything's gonna piss you off it's gonna be a bummer unless you taper off which is a good way to to get off of sugar and then still the last couple of weeks then you go completely sugar-free or no picnic but 
you know, one step at a time. If you're drinking one soda a day, don't be trying to do uh, two weeks of zero sugar. Let's go ahead and cut that soda intake back, and then we'll worry about the other sugar that's in your diet, which is all over your diet, no doubt, if you uh, live in the state, especially. One, the, the kinds of soda I have in my house right now are the kinds I love to drink every day myself, this is cream soda. And then this is um, one of those Pan Pellegrino sodas. So, what do I have here? I have my trusted scale, and here I have a soda that I drank the other day. The third ingredient is sugar. So it says that it contains 33 grams of sugar. And let's see what 33 grams of sugar looks like. Here we are, zero grams. Okay. So this is 33 grams of sugar. It's a decent sized pile of sugar. You know, honestly, we we sometimes uh, I drink these after a workout. After I work out, I'm gonna eat that much sugar? Huh, how about that? Um, let me just show you a real quick picture of the pancreas. And it's this yellow, uh, this yellow organ right here. It's just, uh, below your stomach on the uh, left hand side of your body and and one of its jobs is to secrete digestive enzymes into the small intestine that's but your pancreas has another job there's these cells inside of the pancreas called it's really a pretty, pretty name the islets of Langerhans the cells in those areas called beta cells are responsible for producing insulin insulin is a protein it is made only by these cells it's their special job and um basically the job of insulin is to go into your bloodstream and your pancreas is connected straight to your bloodstream and so then it goes around your body and it tells all of your cells because the sugar is like knocking on the door once you eat sugar it goes straight into your bloodstream have you ever had a sugar rush the sugar's in your bloodstream, it's like basically knocking on the doors of all of your cells saying, hey, anybody want some energy? I'm here, I wanna get inside the cells. I wanna get inside the cells. Well, unless the insulin comes along and is like the key, it, the, the sugar molecules can't get into the cells. So, 75 grams of sugar is in this container. So now I'm gonna go ahead and measure out 75 grams. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, nope, not yet. There you go. There, 75 grams of sugar. It's quite a large amount. Americans eat a lot of sugar, it's true. And it's really easy to get in a habit Sometimes you have a lot of stress going on in your life. Sometimes you need a little pick-me-up. Sometimes life goes a little bit sideways on you. And it seems like the, the most benign thing you could possibly do today is have a soda. Like, what's the big deal? And I'm not saying that that's a bad state of mind. That's the way we all get sometimes. What I am saying is if that's where you are, and if your plan is to live a long, happy, and healthy life, causing your body to have to assimilate this much sugar on a regular basis is not setting yourself up for a really happy outcome. Is that because your pancreas is tossing so much insulin into your bloodstream, the cells of your body start to be like, what? I didn't hear anything. Somebody's ringing the bell all the time. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. And that keeps, if the insulin doesn't, doesn't, open the door, then the blood just stays sugary. Blood sugar is super high on a regular basis. That means that you have a disease called diabetes. And diabetes, um, like the results of uh, the, um, the impacts on your life of having a high blood sugar, they can range from heart disease to um, strokes to poor vision um, and also just poor circulation in your extremities. Some people wind up having to lose pieces of their feet, amputations, 
Um, none of it is, is very, um, none of it is like a really like, yay, get me that outcome, right? So, and, and definitely all of them are like, taste a lot less good than some, than some, some soda. We spend our, all of our youth making our pancreas assimilate this much sugar just just for our beverages. This doesn't say anything about like all the sugar that's contained in our processed foods or um, or fast food. There's a lot of sugar in fast food. So if if you if you can't cut all the sugar out of every part of your diet all at once, don't worry about it. You're gonna make a giant a giant um, benefit to your life if you just cut back on the soda. If you're thinking about cutting back on soda, drink more water. Your body is dehydrated, so go ahead and drink more water. And then do your best. If you drink one, if, if you, I, I, I always, it makes me roll my eyes when people sometimes say, oh, I didn't want to drink juice. That's the baddest soda. I'm sorry. Um, I know that they both have sugar in them, but th there's other micronutrients and vitamins that are in juice. Especially if you make your own fresh juice that you're not going to find in soda. And that's why I don't believe that. Also, have a piece of fruit. That's also another way to satisfy a sugar craving naturally. But you also get fruit uh, um, enzymes. You also get vitamins. You also get some fiber in your diet. All of these things are really good. If you're a regular soda drinker, you're a little behind in the nutrition department. And it's time to start cashing up. And if you're fine, you're ever guzzling soda, that means you're really dehydrated. You're just letting that soda go straight down your gullet. Just mound after mound of sugar without even really getting the full experience. Your pancreas gets the full experience, but that doesn't mean being perfect. If we all get hung up on being perfect and falling in love with perfection before we even give ourselves, a, you know, give it a try, then we're not going to be able to learn how to make a lot of progress. I, I am a big fan of give it a try, see what it feels like, then go a little bit farther. So I'm not going to tell anybody, you better quit all the soda, you're done, no more soda, period, infinity. I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say is try and drink a little bit less. Assess how much you drink. If you can get it back to one soda a month, I'll be pretty psyched. And if you're, you're, if I'm talking straight to you, I'm also talking to this guy, okay? I usually buy only single serving. When I feel like I want soda, I'll buy one can of soda or I'll, buy, I'll try not to bring in like six pack of soda or a two liter bottle. Don't do that. Why? You just buy it when you need it. Buy it when you want it. Um, and then don't feel like you gotta finish it. If you get the taste and you're done and it loses its bubbles, then you throw it away. Then you don't need to drink 77 grams of sugar. Maybe you only drink, good grief, like 50 grams of sugar. What does that look like? That much? I think that this video, just doing this piece of it is gonna help to motivate me to make that can of, that, that little container of soda that I got yesterday the last one that I wanna put inside of my body for a while. Holy smokes. Okay. Uh, if you drink every soda every day, start for one a week. Put it back. Put it off. Drink half. Pour the rest down the sink. Stuff like that is a good way to start easing your way out. And then you're going to be drinking so much water, you're not even going to have missed the soda. Get this out of your. Let's get this out of your diet first. Nobody needs to be eating this much just to wash down the rest of their food. Come on. Let's get with it, my friend. All right, this is a real quick sugar video. I really appreciate you taking a second to, to talk about um, good nutrition with me today. I am not going to be putting this straight into my mouth. I'm going to instead put it back in my cabinet. And then Thanks so much for joining me again today. And uh, cut back on the soda. And I'll see you in the next Hardcore Herbalist. Have an awesome day.